Ever wondered why some databases are clean like a library and some of them are a tangled mess of information? The answer lies in two powerful concepts. Stay with me and you'll find out which one is your secret weapon. Understanding how data is stored is crucial. Today we're diving into normalization and denormalization, two techniques that can make or break your data projects. First up, normalization. Imagine you have a bookshelf. You organize your books by category and each category has its own shelf. This makes finding a book super easy. In databases, normalization is exactly like this organization. It breaks data into smaller related tables to reduce redundancy. In simple terms, it makes your data cleaner and more efficient. And if you wonder how that would look in Power BI, here it is. Multiple tables that contain all the information split into fact tables and dimension tables. But hold on, if normalization is so great, why do we need anything else? Well, that's where things get interesting. Enter denormalization. Now imagine, instead of organizing a book, you pile them on a big table. You might find what you're looking for faster because everything is in one place, but the data is cluttered. Denormalization combines table to make data retrieval quicker, but it can lead to more duplicates and a messier database. And in Power BI would look like this, a big fat table that contains all the information. Sounds like a trade-off, right? But wait, there's more. The real magic happens when you know which one to use. So let's break it down. Use normalization when you need your data to be clean, efficient and easier to maintain. It's perfect for complex systems where accuracy is key. Think of it like having an organized library where every book is in its place and nothing is out of order. But what if speed is more important than tidiness? That's where denormalization steps in. Let's explore how and when to use it. Denormalization shines where speed is what you need. In system where fast data retrieval is more important than a perfectly clean database, denormalization is your go-to. It's like grabbing all the books from the shelf at once, quick, but not as neat. It's great for big data reporting where you're dealing with a lot of read-heavy operations. So, which one should you choose? It depends on your needs. Do you value a tidy, efficient data model? Or do you need speed above all? Understanding the difference can make you a smarter data analyst. Normalization and denormalization are two faces of the same coin. Mastering both will give you the power to design databases that are fast, efficient and tailored to your specific needs. But it doesn't matter which one you choose if you don't follow the best practices in data modeling. And don't worry, I've already put together the most important of them and all you have to do is watch this video right here. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, drop a comment and consider hitting the notification bell. This is Telian, signing off. Until next time, cheerio!